everybody. We're back. We're live at 5-ish. We're, we're live at 5-10-ish. It's all good because Kobe Smulders is here from Present Laughter, and I, that's what makes it wonderful. Also, Paul Wintorek is here. And that's Stevens. And we're, this, is a, this is a new world. We're in a new world. David Corns designed a beautiful new set for us. Tony nominee David Corns of War Paint and Hamilton fame. Hello. And Dear Evan Hansen and... You know the list Band goes on. Band just keeps going. Chinglish, if you're if you're if, <laughs> if you've you're been following school. him for a while, uh, that was the first time I got to interview with him. Anyway, uh, he created this beautiful new world for us, and we're trying it out. So welcome, and I hope you can hear us this time. And so we're, we, were, we are about to announce the the Broadway.com Audience Choice Award nominations. We're pins and needles, but first we were doing the news. Yes, I already told you. Outer critics, uh, honored come from away. Hello, Dolly. Also, Jitney. Come From Away won uh, Five. Outstanding New Musical. That's a huge award. That's a huge award. Come From Away. It's interesting, like, Tony Buzz, right? I mean, Come it's From Away is building a lot of buzz. all in the run-up. Also, The Lortels were last night, hosted by Taryn Killam, who had a great date in Kobe Smulders, his wife. Yes. Um, but the band's visit won, too. And Katrina Lenk won. Outstanding Musical. That's right. And Katrina the band's Lenk. visit beat Darren Hansen, correct? That is yes. correct. That is correct. I mean, that that, that's a correct. huge... But Ben Platt won. Yes. And Rachel Bay Jones won. But yes, The Band's Visit, that's the David Yazbek musical that was at the Atlantic Theater that I love. I couldn't get in. Beth got in. I couldn't get in. I'm very fancy. I'm waiting for the news of the Broadway transfer. So let's get that news out. Yeah. Let's, let's bring that it to Broadway. I think that might happen now that it's a Lortel winner. Also, Sweeney Todd Revival won. Yes. Joe Morton, who, who is in Turn Me Loose. That one. Oh, and cool. Jennifer Ely. And yes, Katrina Lank, who's now in Indecent. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Congratulations to everybody. Congratulations to all those winners. Um, we asked you, for Culturalist, which first-time Tony nominee you are rooting for. That is now on Broadway.com, your top ten. You rank them. Cool. It was a tough thing to do. I have some kind of sad news. Oh, what happened? Barbara Cook. Oh, right. The legendary Barbara Cook, Tony winner Barbara Cook, has retired. So uh, Her we son love told her. the New York Times. That's right. This is not that surprising. No. She was going to do that one-woman show a couple years ago. Based on her memoir, then right. and now. And, and of course, she's just got canceled. Yeah. the most glorious voice oh, in the universe, the best. Barbara Cook. Um, also, Mark Rylance, yes. Tony winner, Oscar winner, is coming back to Broadway. Doing what? It's called Farinelli and the King, and it's written by his wife, oh. Claire Van Kempen. I hope oh. I'm saying that correctly. It probably sounds better with a British accent. We'll find out when we meet her. That will begin performances. First question we'll ask. How do you say your name? <laughs> We're so classy here. Uh, that begins performances December 5th and runs through March 25th at... The Velasco Theater. Cool. Uh, the View from Upstairs, the off-Broadway show, ah. is getting a cast album on Broadway Records, released August 11th. We have pictures from the press event for Building the Wall. That's Robert Schenken, who did all the way. Tony winner, Pulitzer winner. Is this play political at all? It's all what political. wall are we speaking of? I don't know. Just a wall. They're going to build it. Um, <laughs> there's some pictures of that. Uh, the Bros. The Bros did their Broadway. Oh, yeah. The Bros the talked bros. about the Tony nominations. Yeah. Yeah. Check that out Just on Broadway.com. Also, it. uh... We had the Tony nominees confess their secrets to us. This video is hilarious. You have to watch this video. Watch this video. We asked 39 Tony nominees about their secrets, and yes, they spilled the secrets. Patti LuPone killed me in that video. You know. So Patti let's talk a little bit about the awards, okay? All right, so I'm ready. I, that I, was I, the I wanna, I'm this, that No one knows what's on this paper. These are the Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards. These are voted on by you. You guys nominated these people. That's right. So these are the performances that really made an impact with audiences. You know, the, the other awards, it's like... This is the people's choice for Broadway. It's like the other awards are industry. This is not industry. This is the people, everybody. The people this who pay for the, the ticket. People. That's so right. let's unveil a couple categories. I'm ready. Okay, I'm, uh, let's talk about favorite new musical. Are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. Amelie, Anastasia, Bandstand, Come From Away... Dear Evan Hansen and Natasha Pierre in The Great Comet of 1812. That might not have been... Different from the Tony nominations. It I is, like it. It, it is. It's and there's different. more. And there's more. And it's more, more inclusion. There's a lot of shows. Yeah. Uh, what, what are you interested in? Well, new play, because you know I love okay, plays. Okay, yeah, yeah. Why don't you tell them who the new play is? A Doll's Hall, House Part 2. Mm -hmm. I love that play. Indecent. Oh, Hello. Remember Oh, Hello on Broadway? Yeah, that's good. Oslo. The play that goes wrong, Fun. which didn't get it Tony Love like. It's a nice mix of comedy and drama. And the dearly departed significant other, which oh. we love too. Yes. Um, so the whole list will be up on Broadway.com right after this broadcast. But let's talk about like leading actors in a musical because you guys I know are obsessed. Yeah. Uh, Christy Altimer, Anastasia. Anastasia. 
Anna Lee Ashford, Sunday in the Park with George. Because it's now, included. You saw it. You know, it's on in the Park with George, they said, we're not, we don't want to be considered for the Tonys, but they didn't tell us we couldn't consider them. That's right. And, you we know, hardworking people paid to see Sunday in the Park with George. So, uh, Anna Lee Ashford got nominated. Uh, spoiler, so did Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, Danae Benton, Natasha Pierre, uh, Bette Midler, Hello Dolly, Laura Osnes, Bandstand, and Philippa Sue. Now, let's, let's just Halloween. talk numbers for a minute. Dear Evan Hansen got the most nominations. 18 nominations. Now, now you that's might not say. not a record, but it feels like it's a record. Because last it's so year, fun. Hamilton got 27 last year. <laughs> this year, by the way, uh, Hamilton got eight. It's <laughs> because, you know, you can, you can still win, like long running and everything. And you can still get nominated. And, uh... Well, we have Kobe Smulders here, so I know. I let's like get Kobe. Let's get Kobe Maybe in here. she can help you with this Let's get Co- Let's get Kobe in here. Yeah, all right. So, so I have my machine. Ladies and gentlemen. I brought it onto the fancy new set. And by the way, everyone likes the set. Thank you so much Thank for you. liking it. And, uh, why don't you officially right, I'm going to leave, leave but here comes Kobe. Come on in, Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm you so look pretty. good. You look pretty. I'm so happy. <laughs> That's what I was going for. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Um, do you, uh, what do you feel about awards and stuff? Do you do you like um, like following? I mean, you went to the Lord I House was at last the Lord's night. House last your night, husband, and, and my husband, husband was there, like uh, and he was hosting, and it Taren. was so Taryn. Yes, we love his him. name. Yeah. <laughs> He hosted the um, hotels. He did, and he did a great job, and uh, so that's the main reason I was there. But it was also just like, as I was saying before, that it's not televised. Right. So it's just, uh, you know, you can be drunk and you can swear yeah. and you can you can take your time. Right. And so they're really great speeches from amazing, creative, smart, yes. intelligent people. So yeah. it was kind of it was great to just sit in the audience and, and enjoy and the fun. show. Yeah, it was great. The night off, hang out yeah. with theater people. Yeah. You guys have been hanging out with a lot of theater people. We have. Are you curious about any categories here? Um, yeah. What else is there? Well, we did the big ones, right? The play. Uh, well, let's do like. Well, you want you read okay. favorite play revival? Maybe there's something you've heard of in there. <laughs> So for favorite play revival, an act of God. Fun. The front Sean Hayes came back and did that. Yep. Yep. Sorry. I don't mean. I wonder if you Don't interrupt me ever you again. Go. <laughs> I will. I don't won't. ever do that to me again. I'm what a else? guest here, and I need to be what treated else? with respect. Um, the front page, the glass menagerie, the little foxes, present laughter. Of which you are starring <laughs> in. <laughs> can I just carry that around with me? So, yeah, you, can, you can actually get one at Target, but I'll, I'll drop one out for you. And uh, Six Degrees of Separation. Nice, nice. That's a good, that's a that, good crew. That's a good category. Um, let's just do one more, and then we're going to talk about your great okay. life. Uh, let's, let's do favorite featured actress in a play. Okay, so, okay. I just threw that ah, that's exciting. Okay. Uh, spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> okay, Rebecca Naomi Jones from Significant Other. She's good. Celia Keenan Bolger. Yep. I will ruin some of these names. Yep, I'm not it. good at names. From the Cherry Orchard. Yep. Uh, Lindsay Mendez from from Significant Others. Yes. Cynthia Nixon, The Little Fox. I know her. Uh, sh- is it Sherry? Or Sherry. Sherry. It could go either way. Sherry Renee Scott. The front page. That's fun. And Kobe Smulders puzzle after that. What? Nice. Did you just put that in there? No, you, you really got nominated. You really got nominated, and like That's last week, we, when I started realizing you were getting nominated, I thought, wait a minute, she's coming here on Monday. That's really. So is it's that just like, like a real? Like is that timing. real? I feel like I feel like you're just being nice to me. No, we, this is not a rigged award. This is a real award. Wow. It is audit. I'm That's telling you, this is a real sweet. thing. That's so very you sweet. you legitimately got a nomination. So That's very congratulations. Sweet. You know why? Because you're fantastic. Thank you. And present laughter. How how are things over at the St. James? A very large very, theater for uh, a play. It is. Yeah. Uh, it's a beautiful space, in fact. But you're right; it is a very large stage. And at the beginning, when we were doing uh, rehearsals and then into previews, like slowly everybody got mics. <laughs> it was like Kevin had a mic, and then like I had a mic for like one act. Oh really? Okay. And then eventually, <laughs> um, everybody was walking around with with mics on their head, on their foreheads. <laughs> So um, it is a very hard uh, space uh, yeah. for sound, but um, a beautiful theater, and uh, it's like I'm I'm living the dream. I'm literally living the dream. This is like my dream is to be to do theater, but to do it on Broadway is um, it's insane. So this was insane. this was, I actually interviewed your husband last week, and he oh, told yeah. me that Broadway wasn't necessarily his dream. Like, yeah, Saturday Night Live and comedy was his dream. Yes, but yes. this was something he was always interested in, yes. and then, like it was kind of like you guys were in New York. Yeah, and he left Saturday Night Live, and then it was like. Oh, look at all this great this theater stuff we yes. could be doing. And your well, kids also, are here. like, he's got a beautiful voice. Like, he yeah. can sing really well. Yeah. And so I feel like 
there's more opportunity when you just are that diverse in talent. I'm not that diverse in talent. When did he first show you his um, high school Avita that's on YouTube? <laughs> Is it on YouTube? It's on YouTube. <laughs> um, first date. <laughs> bopped, in, bopped in that VHS. <laughs> um, no, I saw it. I mean, I think it was probably, I don't know, a couple of years in, a right, year or right. two in, where you start, like I showed him Singing in the Rain, where I was like in the background. Oh, nice. Okay. And then he showed me a video where he actually like had a, a significant role and, and right. sang really well. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I didn't know it was online. I'm going to look that up. Yeah, yeah, it's on there. Um, so Broadway, when Broadway. We, when they announced that you were doing Broadway, it was yes. very exciting. Yes. Did you were you sort of like looking for a theater project? Were yes, you... I have. I mean, I've always uh, I've been living in LA uh, for a long time, and then we moved here doing three years How I Met Your Mother, among doing, other things. Doing of How I Met Your Mother. Um, it's very small. Not a lot of people know it's very small and independent. <laughs> um, uh, but when we moved out here, and even leading up to the move. Um, I was auditioning and, and, and trying everything I possibly could to, to get on stage because it's, it's been my dream to, to do theater here. And, um, and I am so glad that I was able to do it, especially at this level with Kevin and Christine and, and Kate climb. and the entire cast. I mean, it's really, it's kind of, every time I sit down and talk about it, it's kind of hard to talk about like, it because this is, I, it, this is my life, right. but I can't believe it's my life. Right, right. Um, so I just feel, uh, you know, I just want to cry. <laughs> you can. Because I just feel really uh, grateful. Did you audition opposite Kevin Klein? I did. Yeah. I, I, I did. Was we, it daunting? Uh, Have you ever we, met him before? No, I had never oh. met him. And we actually met for like, the first time was in uh, an audition space where they had like um, both female and, and male bathrooms. Like it was just like a bathroom. And so okay. I was in there like kind of prepped and, and you know, fixing this. And he came in. <laughs> As I was literally like mid lipstick, and I was like, "Hello, I'm Awkward gonna see first you meetings. soon." And, um, <laughs> and it was also the day after the election, so it was a very it was a it was a passionate day. day. It was a very Let's say passionate. You maybe bonded about something really quickly. Yes, we all <laughs> were sort of in this moment together, and uh, and uh, so it was like a it was a great experience. But they were, I mean. With uh, Moritz as well, he just is such a great director, and yeah. he was was in the room too, and everybody was just so nice. Yeah, did you see Hand to God? I did. Yeah, people yes. love, people love so Hand good. to God. Yeah, so crazy. good. Yeah, crazy, crazy. And it was so cool to see that he was doing like a classic play next. You yeah, know? And yeah, yeah. He was a wonderful director because, I, and, and I think that for me as a first timer jumping into uh, an entirely different process, I I really lucked out with him because. He was so like patient and just allowed things to happen and mm. wasn't stressed at, at all, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and it was really really lovely. Yeah. Awesome. What about the? You look gorgeous on stage. Do, are you enjoying the drag? Yeah. Uh, the, yes, I am. Uh, it, I think it's like like sixty percent of the character. I mean, it's so <laughs> when you get to like look at yourself in the mirror and you put on this like Susan Hilferty who did all of our costumes and is nominated for a Tony I mean, as she's well. The best. She's um, the best. She. It was a whole process, and she's so smart about um, looking at costumes as characters and how they affect the set and the mood and the tone mm -hmm. and. Um, and uh, it, it was just, it's just such a dream. Like, it, it takes like that much less work to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, oh, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I'm draping in diamonds and I have this cape and it's a, it's a whole thing. So it's, it's really, um, it's very helpful in terms of performance, but it's just, it's very much a part of the character playing um, the character of Joanna. She is a woman who is vain and she yeah. takes care of herself and she wants to portray this version of herself to yeah. the world. So it's, sort of where she gets her power. Have you ever met anyone vain out in Hollywood? Is that, is that a no. thing? <laughs> I mean, it's not as obvious now, is it? <laughs> you have to you have to meet them a few times <laughs> uh <-huh. Yeah. laughs> to really get in there. But uh, but I feel like back in the day, it was it was much more obvious. The Hollywood right. back in the day, I mean, it was oh such, a, such a romantic, Are you a fan of like type. movies and TV of that story? Yeah, about absolutely, that, kind of absolutely. I mean, um, uh, Crawford was like a big one. Joe Crawford was like, I, I, do you listen to that podcast? You must remember this. Yes, I listened I'm to like, that. Yeah, they just did Dead Blondes. Yes, the whole yes. Dead Blondes series. Yeah, but I listened, I, I listened to the Joe that. Crawford one pretty yeah. recently. Oh yeah, absolutely. And uh, it, it was actually was really it like a three parter or something. It was like it, well, they had like six or something. Oh right, it was a whole yeah, series. It was a whole series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I had seen Feud. Uh -huh. um, uh, but I wanted to, and I think that's what kind of uh, got me uh, searching about it. But um, 
it was very interesting to to listen to it because I felt like there was a lot of comparisons because I felt like Joan Crawford was a woman who was like, sure, I'll do anything. Mm -hmm. I will do anything for that role. Mm -hmm. And the character of Joanna is very similar. Like, I will do anything. Cool. A little Joan Crawford yeah. up there. I love that. Yeah. I love that you know that podcast. It's oh, so it's random. The best. It's the best. Uh, John, uh, Jen asked a very uh, actor. Jen, question. hi, Jen. Jen said, "What do you Ask personal an awkward question? Actory. Actory question. What do you personally do differently or the same to audition for film versus stage?" Oh, great question. Um, well, there is a certain there's like more preparation required for theater in my experience, where you're like you got an audition for this great play. It's tomorrow. There's ten pages and seven monologues, and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> like there is just there's just so much more um, words to prepare and moments to prepare, and uh, and I I always love like going into auditions and like don't worry about it. Like you can just like you know you can just bring your script and it's fine, and then you realize no, this has to be like a full on performance, which I find like every audition for theater has been for me, which mm -hmm. I appreciate. Um, but in terms of like my own preparation and finding the character, it doesn't really change right. much because I sort of approach each character similarly. But there is definitely more preparation that has to be done in terms of just the language. Billy wants to know, would, Billy, you, like, would you like to start in a musical revival? Oh, Billy, I can't sing that well. <laughs> um, I have such respect for musical theater and, um, and actors who can do that every night and who have that talent and ability. I would never try to fake it up there. I mean, I just, I just don't, I just don't. I mean, I can sing fine. I can sing fine, right. but I can't sing like that. And I wouldn't. It, it's sacrilege. Do you know uh, what I mean? Uh -huh. Okay. You I, you I, I like. I can do the it. play, and I, 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 I get that world, and I can embody that. But I can't embody that type of. I just, I just wouldn't want to. Do you and the hubby like sing at home? Is there like singing happening? Um. You sing to the kids. Or yeah, you... we sing to the kids. Yeah. Um, but not, I mean, not really. I mean, Taryn, Taryn's the one with the voice, but, but no, I mean, we're very boring. Yeah. <laughs> we're very boring What do boring your kids people. think about you being on Broadway? Um, they love it. I mean, it, it's, it, it feels more like a job. Uh-huh. Which is funny because you have, like, these consistent hours. Right, um, right, right. Where when you're shooting film and TV, you're like, I don't know if I'm going to see you next week, but I love you. Right. And <laughs> now, you know, I could be like, all right, at 630, I'm off to the show. You know, there is there is much more of consistency and you can kind of plan and, yeah. and enjoy your, your home life, which is another reason I, I wanted to get into theater, because now that we're, you know, we're rolling and we don't, we're not rehearsing and we're just doing the show every night or on matinees, mm -hmm. you know, you can, yeah, I can be home with the kiddos. Um, Josh says, making your debut opposite Kate Burton and Christine Nielsen, who are both fantastic the best. ladies of the stage. Yes. Uh, what's something you learned from them? I think it's like they have such strong, uh, such a strong work ethic, mm -hmm. and um, and that's demonstrative in 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 what you see on stage because they through the rehearsal process, like everyone was off book and everyone was honing and everyone was creating and everyone, they're, they're just, they're just professionals. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think, and they're also both just like so funny and it's like, you see all this work that goes in, but then when you're opposite them every night, it's different. Right. And so they're able to, to truly like put all that work in and know mm -hmm. their characters so well. And, but every night is sort of playtime. Awesome. Yeah. So you're what the show's through July 2nd, yes. correct? Yeah. At the St. James, yes. and then they're gonna like got the theater and turn it into Frozen Land. I heard, like, I know <laughs> it's gonna become. It's gonna you're gonna be your, like, your dressing room uh, might be uh, uh, Elsa's dressing room. I, I, know. I, d I know it's kind of sad. <laughs> you know, I it's such a beautiful theater, and I'm glad that Birdman just like really got oh, it all I got on that. film. Is it cool to be at the I, theater? I have to, you know, I saw Birdman when it came out, and so I need to like go back yeah. and, see, and watch it again right. now, having been in that space for so long. That's crazy. Um, so at least it was captured for for all time yeah. in that movie. I'm but sure it's still gonna look beautiful. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. sure it's, it's still going to be, be beautiful. Just make, it's just going to be different. Changes. I don't know exactly what they're doing to it, but yeah, Frozen is, is going in. Yeah, awesome. Maybe take a kiss to Frozen. Yep. Be like, Mommy yeah. was in this theater. Yep. <laughs> okay, I thank remember you. when I was at the St. James. <laughs> Very Joan Crawford. Present laughter. <laughs>
Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for having me. You what a so wonderful fantastic. thank you for and, uh, uh, I get to be in the space for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, very you're our first. So very um, and congratulations on your Broadway.com Audience Choice Award thank nomination. You. Yes, thank so now you, you guys can go on the site so and read all the nominations and start Great. voting for the winners. Now you get to vote for the winners. And um, and we'll be back tomorrow with another awesome guest on Live at Five. Bye. Bye. Bye.